Thank you for coming back to Polka Dot Mailbox. And if you're new, welcome. Today I'm sharing with you these little wine charm tags I've made. So I'm using the BB Craft alphabets and charms. And I've created these dangles on a wine charm. And this is going to serve two purposes. It's going to actually act as the tag for who the gift is for. And then it's also going to be something they can take off of the gift and actually use to mark their wine drinks. Um, here's a set for my brother and his wife and two daughters. And they're all adults now the the kids <laughs> um, so it's nice um, to send them a little gift and so I'll show you what I'm actually sending them as well so my brother when he was here really liked these heartbeat hot sauce which is a thing that you can get in Thunder Bay Ontario uh, they are made locally and they are spectacular. So I created his little um, sand pail and I'm going to wrap that all up uh, with those hot sauces that he likes from here. And then my sister-in-law and nieces are getting a little spa kit. There's a face mask, eye mask, lip mask, and a fuzzy pair of cozy socks for winter. So. I've put them in all of these sand pails that I have um, made with the Scrap Diva Designs um, dies that I ordered from her and I'm really getting a lot of use out of them and I really love them. So these are going to go, initially I was thinking of putting them off to the side here, but I'm actually going to use them as tags once I've done them up with cellophane. Okay, I'm back with the finished products. I will show you them each one by one. Move those off to the side here. So here is how they look all done up with the cellophane and the bows and the tags, little wine charms. And um, I made a tag and then I taped to the back of the tag these three strands of ribbon that match perfectly so they kind of just will hang off to the side and the cellophane just gives it a nice sort of finished shiny look and then the tag you can write Merry Christmas or who it's from and then their name is off on the side here hiding underneath the tool that they can take off and then use as a wine tag holder. There's my brother's all ready to go with his name up top there. And that is the finished product for him. There's this one for my niece. All done up with a white bow. And then hanging off to the side are her name and that cute little red stocking. And so these will all hang nicer once they're upright. It's kind of hard to show you <laughs> on an angle like this because everything's kind of dangling off to the side. And then this is for my sister-in-law. Again, the cute little details of those sand pails that I've designed. And there's her little wine charm that will dangle underneath here. Again, it's hard to get it to sit properly with the uh, angle that we're doing here, but you get the idea. So that's how basically those are going to look. They all tie in beautifully. So that is the little matching family set that will be going out to them this Christmas. Okay, back with a few more of these wine charms that I've made the BB Craft alphabet letter names and added the snowflake dangle to the end. And I've put this just hanging off of the packages now so that it is an extra little special touch to um, basically de designate who they are for. So that's what those look like there. 
of those hang off the parcel. Here's another one here. The cute little Christmas tree wine charm and I've put the snowflake there on the bottom and then you can see how that all packages together really cutely with the cellophane these little sand pails with the scrap diva design um, dies that I created these little boxes and then this one here and then topped off with the colorful snowflake the name that I created this time I added two stars because of the short name there's lots of space and that little wine charm there had the cute little stocking on it and that all coordinated really well thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time